And I want to thank whoever was handing this out. Did everybody get one? In case you didn't get one, the OPIRG Toronto presents End Israeli Apartheid Boycott Divestment Sanctions Campaign. If I were going to be here on Tuesday, June 20th at 7 p.m. <laughs> at the OISC Auditorium at 252 Bloor Street West, <laughs> I would be there to join in the demand for boycotts and divestment and sanctions against apartheid Israel, which my own government and military is funding to the tune of $5 million a day. And if you want further information, if I were looking for further information, I would go to dub 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 O-P-I-R-G-U-O-F-T dot org. I I'm happy that somebody handed this out today. I'm grateful for them doing this today because I think that Drag King Dreams may be the most pro-Palestinian self-determination work of fiction by any white Jewish author to date. <laughs> now, I would like to be proved wrong. <laughs> I would. And I would like to be proved wrong many, many times in the near future. I would like that distinction to be removed from this book. But that's what made me so happy to see those bold yellow, yellow stickers coming out. I have been to Toronto. I've been to Canada so many times. But there have been whole decades of my life when I have been barred from coming to see you here and there may be decades where I'm barred from seeing you again. Yes. I grew up, as many of you know, I wasn't born in Buffalo, but I certainly came of age as a butch lesbian and came out into the factories and the unions of Buffalo, New York, when I was 14. And coming across that so-called Peace Bridge, <laughs> on Friday nights, to see our sister communities here in St. Catharines, in Toronto, in Niagara Falls. It was just part of a flowing back and forth between the life of Buffalo and Toronto and all these stops in between. To see my friends at the Nabisco plant from the third shift, <laughs> to be able to sit down together at that time, the only place was in bars. I want to make sure I don't go too long here. And then came the Vietnam War. And as I drove up to the first agent and they said, let me see your draft card, I was no longer able to come to Canada. And if the US reinstitutes the draft, I will no longer be able to come and see you. That will be a very small collateral damage, as they say, to the very grave crime of compounding the war drive and the youth of all sexes and nationalities and genders, but particularly youth of color and working class youth who are being drafted right now in the States through an economic draft. and is part of the war against undocumented workers in the states, which is a real war, a real militarized war, both with neo-fascist forces, clan forces, and with armed militias patrolling the border. Now, we'd like to, the US would like to militarize this border as well, as we both know. The Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, <laughs> have passed a bill called the Real ID Act. And what it means, it was buried in a war appropriation spending that both parties, hard cop and soft cop, were happy to pass. Oh, $80 billion, here you go. And it says that undocumented workers can be stripped of their driver's licenses. Now that's just one aspect of the repression and the oppression against a population of millions in the states who are creating billions of dollars in profit from their labor. 
and yet receive almost nothing in services in return and whose lives are criminalized and are made illegal for the lack of documents. If there was no other reason, I would be with my immigrant sisters, brothers, and other siblings in struggle to stop the Real ID Act and to say that there are no borders in the workers' struggle and no one is illegal. <laughs> of course, there is another aspect, because whenever lives and bodies and identities are being policed by the police, then trans bodies, queer bodies, become more scrutinized as well. And so my own driver's license can be stripped from me with just a letter in the mail that says I no longer have one. Because a computer check is going to run, if it goes unchallenged, a comparison between everyone's documents to see if anything is flagged for not matching. And you know, my birth certificate, my driver's license, and my passport don't match and they never will. The fact is that if I lose my driver's license, just like undocumented workers, although my life is not on a par and equal sign with the lives of people of color who have been forced out of their own countries by the invasion of capital from Wall Street and forced across the border to search for low pay work and face racism and national oppression. But I have a basis for unity when I can say to you that none of us will be able to cash a check or rent a car or get an airline ticket or a bus ticket or a train ticket because you have to have a driver's license to do it. And what does it mean when you can't drive to work, when you can't show any form of identification when it's demand? It means that the authorities have got you. And this passport, which people ask me, why do you have it out on the table? Funny you should ask. <laughs> because I want to know why does a passport with a photo on it, the most accurate and sophisticated and subtle form of identification one can imagine, have to have an F or an M box on it? <laughs> but because I do have to have an M or an F on it, and mine happens to have an M on it, and that is not my birth sex, and that is not who, who's, uh, the identity in which I live. When I go home tomorrow morning across the border whose immigration agents <laughs> I do have a healthy fear of, <laughs> I could very well become called in as a felon. This is a felony. My driver's license is a serious misdemeanor with jail and fine. This one is a felony with prison time and a fine. So I ask you this. I want to say it loud enough so that the U.S. government can hear me. Come and get me. <laughs> Let's make a struggle out of this. And I ask you loud enough that they can hear Will you help me make a big struggle out of this if they try to drag me to jail for coming?